It's way too big for a black lab. Dude, I don't know what that was. It ran up right next to our car. What are they here for? Anderson, Indiana, the late 1950s, on a warm October night. A teenage mother drives her newborn baby to a countryside bridge under the moonlight. What happens next will forever curse this place. Because the baby was born out of wedlock, the mother makes a rash decision. She throws her baby off the bridge into the river below. Much to her horror, there was a loud thud and a shrieking cry from her infant. The baby hit the bank below, missing the water entirely. She panics. She runs back into her car and drives off into the night, ignoring the cries of her own child. A few days later, the Anderson police finds the dead body of the baby. The baby ended up dying by exposure to the elements. Not knowing who's responsible, they never track down and find the mother. Years go by, the mother returns to the site of the Anderson Bridge. She exits the vehicle, but suddenly she hears something that she never thought she would hear again. The sound of the crying baby. From that day on, that bridge in Anderson, Indiana, was forever known as the Crybaby Bridge. But the story does not end here. It is said that at midnight, any visitor that comes here will hear the sound of a baby crying below the bridge. Some witnesses state that they hear the sounds of water splashing after they hear the baby cry. Also, local legend has it, if you drive over the bridge at midnight, your engine will shut off. Visitors also claim, when crossing the bridge, they have a sudden sense to jump off the bridge. Wait a minute. I have heard this story before. But where? I did a little research online. What's interesting is every state claims to be the home of the Crybaby Bridge legend. As far as the legend goes, it usually consists of three key ingredients. A bridge, a baby, and someone to carry the baby into the bridge. 
Usually, it's the baby's mother. Something bad that causes the baby to fall from the bridge. Everything from an oncoming train. From the mother deciding to throw the baby from the bridge. Once you add those ingredients, you mix them together and create a creepy story that ends with the baby's death. You then add a brief postscript explaining that if you go to the bridge at a certain day and time, you will hear the ghostly cry of the baby. And there you have it, your very own Crybaby Bridge legend. The story could have traveled state by state to spread awareness warning teenagers about the consequences of having unprotected sex outside of wedlock. Female birth control was still in the research stages in the 1950s, the same time the origin story takes place. It wouldn't be until the 1960s that the fear of overpopulation would become a major issue. Because promiscuous teens didn't have birth control, children were born out of wedlock. The mother and father of the child would face public scrutiny due to the social attitudes of conservative 1950s. That's it then. The Anderson Crybaby Bridge is just a tale about social anxieties to scare promiscuous teenagers into submission. No, this can't be true. If that were the case, I wouldn't be making this video. It was midnight, July 2020. My cousin and I decided to go to the Crybaby Bridge in Anderson, Indiana for a paranormal investigation. Little did we know, we would experience one of the craziest nights of our lives. We decided to cross the bridge in the car. After doing that, I decided to park along the curb. There was a dragging noise coming from underneath my car, so I decided to get out of my vehicle and investigate. Suddenly, I was met with a bright light coming from down the road. It was a truck approaching me. Instead of stopping and rolling down their window and offering assistance, the white truck drove right by me, staring me down, like they were warning me that I had to leave. Without hesitation, I hopped back in my vehicle and looked in the rear view mirror and saw the truck turned around and was approaching us. So I did what I needed to do. I put the pedal to the metal and drove off. In this white truck and an old man Look, I said he looked sketchy. He turned around and they were ch he was chasing after us and following us, so we're heading back. Maybe that's him up there in that little car. This wouldn't be our last encounter with the man in the white truck. Don't act sketchy. Just drive drive like we're normal. I got the camera. Oh shit. That's not a, that's not the sketchy truck. That is it is a sketchy, sketchy truck! truck. Oh, oh no! Our story gets crazier from here. While my cousin and I were on our way back to the bridge, something absolutely unexplainable happened. While driving back to the bridge, at the side of my car, I saw a black shadow run directly towards us. I slammed on my brakes and got a good look at what I saw. Its characteristics were similar to that of a dog. This wasn't an ordinary dog. The creature had black frizzy hair and a hunchback. It was close to eight foot in length. As soon as I saw the creature's facial features, my jaw dropped. It had no eyes or a mouth. Not being able to piece everything together, I drove off in a hurry. Unfortunately, we weren't recording at this time and were caught off guard so we did not capture the dog on video. We just saw a black, it was like a dog-like creature. I was way too big for a black lab. Dude, I don't know what that was. It ran up right next to our car. I don't know what it was. Literally just got so many chills. Dude. It was right around here, right? It happened right here. It happened right here. We weren't the only ones to experience this. After researching online, other people have claimed to see this creature. One individual from an online forum claimed to see an eight-foot black hunchback creature run across the Anderson Bridge. The person online claimed he came into contact with a demonic entity. 
the characteristics of what we both saw matched that of a hellhound. A hellhound is a supernatural dog in folklore. Features that have been attributed to hellhounds include mangled black fur, red glowing eyes, super strength and speed, ghostly or phantom characteristics, and a foul odor. They are often assigned to guard the entrance to the world of the dead, such as a graveyard and a burial ground. We finally arrived back at the bridge and found other people were there. They were also intrigued by the legends of the Crybaby Bridge. Remarkably, they too claimed they were being followed by a guy in a white truck. Did you see the guy? He, just, he keeps circling back. Yeah. All right, he pull up here. Back. Oh we have a camera, so it's okay. Oh pull up. Well, no, you're not on camera. You're not on camera. Pull up. Pull up. Suddenly, this happened. It's the same dude. It's the same dude. I got him on film. I got him on film. We all decided that it was time to leave. We all went in our cars. While driving, I was being tailgated very close by the teenagers. They were flashing their brights at me. Little did I know they were trying to warn me. The man in the white truck was trying to run them off the road. He is chasing us. He is literally chasing us. That is, that, they, they are, they, the, the truck is right behind that car. Yeah, you gotta make a right or left. You gotta veer left or right. to get th those girls off our tail. Yeah, I know. They're trying to tell us something. Yeah, they literally They're flashed our lights. Yeah, they were in distress. The girls behind us are in distress. We're getting right there. Oh my god. God, dude, this is fucked. We gotta, we gotta get, out get out of here. Dude, yep. we're going home. I'm not fucked with this. We'll come here during daytime. You gotta go, you gotta go faster. These girls are gonna, are a little, I feel bad for them. We're, no, no, he's not. There. He's under the hill. Just keep, just, they don't, they can't. Oh, they're right there! He's right there! He's right, he's right on the side of them! Holy s***! On the side of them? Yes! Oh my god! What is going on? Dude, what is going on? I did dude? not want to do this tonight. He's, oh yeah, he's right there. There's another car behind him too. Oh my god! Just we go. Get the f go out straight. Of here. Just go straight. Go straight. Dude. Go straight. Oh my god, dude! What is going on? My cousin and I decided to make a sharp turn left in hopes of losing the guy in the white truck. Goodness! We were able to get away by the skin of our teeth. While we didn't capture any crying babies or ghosts at the bridge, the experience with the guy in the white truck would make total sense to us when we got home. It was apparent the guy in the white truck was trying to keep us away. It's been said the locals here are not friendly to outsiders, but why? In the woods, just beyond the bridge, lies an old cemetery. It's been reported that people practice satanic rituals there. Are the locals somehow involved in the occult? And for that reason, are they trying to keep outsiders out? Or are they just plain rude? There is too many unanswered questions, and for that reason, we're going back. If you like this video, please check out more of our videos. Thanks for watching.